Tesla just few hours ago shared a rare glimpse at Giga Shanghai's Model Y production line in action, showing how the Giga Press makes the Model Y in Giga Shanghai in action. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news analysis and ring the notification bell for uh, <clears throat> uh, for not missing my next Tesla or electric vehicle story. Maria. Merano has the details from teslarati.com shared by our friend uh, Ray who tweets at Ray for Tesla and always provides great Tesla news. Tesla has shared a rather rare look at Gigafactory Shanghai's Model Y production line. The video, which was shared in the electric car maker's official Weibo account, featured several elements of the Model Y's assembly process in the China-based plant at Gigafactory Shanghai, including the use of single-piece megacasts for the all-electric crossovers rare, on the uh, rare underbody. The electric vehicle maker's recent Weibo video specified that Giga Shanghai's Giga Press machines are massive 6,000 ton die casting equipment that integrates the Model Y's back plate into a whole. Tesla China noted that it uses its use of mega casts for the Model Y results in several advantages, including a reduction in weight, a more streamlined welding process, and a more simplified build. What you're seeing in the accompanied video that our friend Ray shared is that you see in the beginning the robotic arms the kuka robots they uh, bring the materials and then they make enter the materials uh, the the aluminum i guess into the uh, machine into the huge giga casting machine and then what we see a tesla's body the, coming out of there 70 parts made into one part i'm going to tell you a little bit more about the consequences of that at the end of this video but so far tesla also remarked that the model Y's mega casts improve the vehicle's overall build quality this was a point highlighted by auto weather and sandy monroe in his ongoing teardown of the 2021 model 3 from the fremont factory committing uh, actually commenting on the Model 3's build quality, Monroe then noted that the use of mega-casted components should allow Tesla to make its builds more consistent. A fewer parts result in fewer areas for error. Also, I'm not going to mention that fewer parts means maybe better weight, less weight, which is going to affect uh, Tesla's uh, Model Y's, in this case, range, and also performance and battery life. So Tesla China is pushing the Model Y in China. This year with the electric car maker promoting the all electric crossover as an ideal vehicle for families that value utility and safety. Features such as the HEPA filter and the dedicated bioweapon defense mode were introduced to the Made in China Model Y as well, making the vehicle more attractive for consumers who live in areas where air pollution is prevalent. So far, the Tesla Model Y seems to be gaining some ground in China, with the all-electric crossover attracting crowds during the debut. Local reports then noted that Tesla stores were overwhelmed with potential customers, with the company's official website crashing due to the traffic at one point, if you remember. Estimated delivery times for made in China orders also hint that the vehicle has been sold out at least for the first few months. So, our friend Ray, who tweets at Ray Tesla and always provides great information, tweeted yesterday, I think it was 11 30 Eastern Time PM, saying Giga Shanghai is becoming a production powerhouse. Watch mega casting for Model Y coming out of six kiloton Giga presses. The whole process is fully automated, including quality check, pretty mind-blowing to say the least. So what you're seeing in this video, friends, let's take a look at that. How do you, now, uh, there are a couple of questions that arise after this. How do you collision repairs? Are there parts made for repairs? Welding is still required. That's an interesting question, but I think 
that, that these cars made by Giga Presses will change the face of the insurance agencies and insurance automotive insurance companies and what they repair or write up. So another person says, so the collision repairs in the new Teslas built at single body cast will probably be no different than any other cars. At least, for example, you know what they do in Canada? Any accident that involves the structure of the car, even the tiniest of them, is an automatic write-off uh, in Canada. In Canada, insurance company only fixes fenders, lights, or bumper. Any deeper is write-off. When I was first reporting years, uh, months ago, about Tesla Giga, uh, Tesla's Giga presses for single uh, casting, uh, while it has a lot of advantages, it, people had some worries, like what will happen if there is an accident? How do you repair the little part that is uh, has involved in the accident? Do you need to replace the entire body? I guess what I'm getting from uh, comments on social media, Twitter, and elsewhere that you know insurance agencies may just write off the entire body for even for a tiny accident because we already see that happening in Canada where apparently the insurance automotive insurance companies fix fenders lights or bumpers um, any deeper is actually right off apparently so this may happen with tesla cars will that uh, rise the raise the price of insurance the premium i don't know maybe it will lower it or will raise it i really don't know if you guys know about the insurance company and their pricing system please let me know in the comments section below another issue is that giga price is crazy imagine 70 parts to one part with traditional auto just can't do this they will probably kill jobs which is uh, said at not only themselves but also their suppliers jobs this is even scary it will put an end to paying employee benefits and retirements what is going to happen to millions of people who work in the industry how do they find new jobs really in this robotic age where robots make robots or when robots make machines what are people going to do if they don't work that is going to increase the laziness in our society and it's going to have very catastrophic uh, consequences we're i guess entering that stage where we have to think about like where do these people go to work because everywhere everything is automized everywhere robots take over and even as you can see this giga press is taking even the jobs of robots so what do you think where could these people go what professions people need to choose in high schools and in uh, universities to have more long-term jobs until the next turn of the industries in our world so what we're witnessing is robots making robot taxis uh, robots that have specific functions and maybe this is not a terminator type because robot taxis will serve the humanity taking them places to one places but while it's good you can do some other works you can probably read books or uh, listen to other music and relax when you have long trips but i personally like my uh, driving and uh, the other day uh, i was my, my son is 16 years old my oldest son and uh, he's learning to drive i was uh, he has a permit i'm sitting next to him he's driving his car and then he turned to me and said that i love driving it it's nice it's fine yes it is fun to drive uh, and i don't want to give that up so what about you friends let me know please in the comment section also what we're seeing here is large scale and precision casting at speed unlike any car assembly line outside of tesla just think of the number of processes that the mega casting has replaced uh, huge cost saving for tesla but at what human cost yes this is going to co um, save a lot of money for tesla i don't know how this how much these giga presses cost i don't know how much tesla has paid for them and when tesla will uh, have return on investment and cover that cost but I'm worried about the huge human employment cost that is this going to cost in our societies once this becomes widespread um, uh, across the industries, not only the automotive industry, but across the industries. Now, so has anyone ever outlined how many employees or employee hours per car or output are involved in uh, Made in China Model 3 versus Fremont Model 3? 
uh, made in China Model Y versus Fremont Model Y. It will be interesting because uh, Giga Shanghai is already using the Giga presses, but I um, reported several days ago that Giga uh, factory Fremont also is starting uh, the first uh, Model Y Giga pr uh, press use. Um, so you can see my report several days ago. Tesla brings new world to manufacturing friends. Uh, turning 70 plus parts into one part another is an, an another exponential growth in manufacturing not only for tesla but for the automotive manufacturing in general well let's continue the discussion in the comment section below please like this video share it with friends in social media that helps me tremendously and ring the notification bell when you subscribe subscribe join our community please and i'll see you in our next report about tesla and electric vehicles i have some very interesting report coming today about toyota's solid state batteries new developments and have a wonderful rest of the day peace be with, with you and god bless you all